Hello and welcome to Five on Five. This is five minutes on the first five miles of a particular shoe. Today's shoe is the Skechers Max Road 6. Mad Max Road 6. First impressions on the step and feel. Skechers being Skechers. They're still doing their weird shit. Like the shape of the bottom feels like a U. It's almost like you're stepping into like a U-boat. I don't even know what a U-boat looks like. I've never been on a U-boat. It doesn't feel very stable. Now, while the bottom of the shoe is kind of U-shaped, I feel like the foam in the middle has like a lump or bump. This creates a weird sensation on the landing. If I land on the heel, then I feel like I'm gonna get plenty of roll through. If I land on my forefoot, I feel like it's propelling me forward and I feel like I'm getting good energy return. So if I land on the midfoot though, and I am a midfoot, foot striker I feel like I'm almost stepping on a speed bump if I hit it the wrong way it's almost breaking me or slowing me down I think Thomas from Believe in the Run had a similar issue with the speed beast and I had a similar issue with the Razor XS2 if I look at the upper it's built for comfort it's got a lot of padding around the heel collar it's got a nice big puffy tongue super comfortable outsole has all the coverage you would ever need there's an insurance joke here with Geico but I can't my brain can't find it. It's probably not funny. I'm gonna pass. The midsole foam feels good. There's a lot of energy return. I think it's really gonna come down to the landing. Okay, I think I've I think I figured it out. So this shoe is a budget-friendly Mad Max category shoe or leg saver. Other shoes in this category would be the New Balance. SC Trainer, the Nike Invincible, and the Adidas Primex Strung. The Skechers Max Road 6, however, is only a fraction of the cost of the Primex Strung at 140 in comparison. So I'm gonna compare it to those shoes. Now those shoes I just mentioned are pretty heavy. Car. This shoe feels a little bit lighter, so I would say advantage Max Road 6. And the reason I mention that is those other shoes are really good leg savers, but they're pretty heavy. And so when I take them out for recovery days, sometimes I'm like, oh. All right, comparing the Max Road 6 to those other three shoes as far as stability goes, I would say this is on the more stable side. It's more stable than the Nike Invincible, more stable than the Primex Strung. I thought the SE Trainer was pretty stable, probably slightly more stable than this shoe, but you can control the landing the landing doesn't really control you so when i land on the heel i do feel a good like roll through there's enough time when the heel hits to come up and then roll through to the toes if you're a heel striker i think you'll like this shoe okay mile three there's some really good bounce up at the forefoot when you land on the forefoot it propels you forward a little bit like you're going downhill the energy return on the foam is pretty great it's kind of forcing me to go too fast from an easy run here. And that's my favorite kind of like medium long run shoe. I really like something that pushes me forward like the Nova Blast 1, the Meta Speed Sky. I like the shoes doing a little bit of the running for me. All right guys, I'm gonna have to be honest. I don't like it. I feel that foam bunch up underneath the arches of my foot. And every time I land on the midfoot, it's like sending a signal. Right now, it's not a pain signal. This eventually will be a pain signal. <laughs> but it is not, it's not comfortable. It forces my stride a little too much. It's trying to tell my foot what to do. My foot don't like to be told what to do. My foot's gonna foot, you know what I mean? Feet gonna feet. Foot's his own boss, he goes where he wants to. For bias purposes, Skechers did not send me this shoe. I got it from Running Warehouse for $140. I like Skechers. I've always liked Skechers. I've enjoyed their nitrogen infused foam, bouncy, lightweight, good for up tempo, thresholdy stuff. Not a lot of durability, didn't really care. It's fun. I want to love this shoe. I really want to like it, but it's just not going to work for me. So, who is the shoe good for? I would say if you don't mind all the other Skechers shoes and the way that they are shaped, you will be fine. If you like the Max Road 5, you'll probably also like the Max Road 6 because there's just more of everything that made the Max Road 5 good. All right, in conclusion, it's lightweight. The foam is nice. The upper is cozy. The price, the outsole is there. It's a really great shoe as long as you don't mind the landing. If, if you can get on with the shape of the shoe, I think you'll love it. For me, it's not quite there. So to be fair to Skechers, this is the last Skechers shoe that I'm gonna try for a while. Why they continue to do the same sort of shape and whatever technology, technology, hyper arc, arch fit, must be the technology. All right, thanks for watching guys. Sorry there weren't more jokes.